G'day friends and welcome to week 24 I think it is. Um, this is my first week without the Manjaro. Um, it's been pretty good. I haven't been eating a huge amount. Um, I've been surfing a lot. I've done seven, I surfed seven out of eight days this last week. Um, the, the weather's turned horrendous at the moment I might even get I might even take you down for a drive and we'll have a quick look at how bad it is big here the winds is protected from the wind down the swell the swell and the wind is coming from the south so I thought I'd just come and have a quick look it's the only place I can think of where I can be out of the rain to actually film you can see down the beach there where it's starting to break that's that's where it's uh, the swell is actually coming in full force um, I'll put my weight down below my current weight oh, no. 82.35 I think I've lost 1.4 kilos this week or the last seven or eight days it would be uh, I've been surfing a lot though. I've been out of control. Day six and Ray's already out there. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> you know, I've, the last, I've only put up day four, I think. I've still got day six and day eight to, uh, to put up. You'll see by day eight, I'm out of control. I'm just so hyped up and so excited. All the way in, keep it going. Um, I really needed this later, a bit of bad weather to, to uh, calm down and regroup. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Now that's the wave to come in on. Yeah. Very nice. Whoa. Uh, my knee has uh, miraculously responded to the knee brace just brilliantly. Like it's just been, just, uh, it's worked an absolute treat. For 70 bucks, it's probably the best $70 I've ever spent, you know, so. Uh, Non-scale victories. Um, I've managed to get into a pair of jeans that I haven't I haven't been able to fit for. It must be close to 38 years. It was when my son was two and I went back to New Zealand. No, it's these jeans because it's the only jeans I've ever bought um, that I've paid to have the hem at the bottom of the pants leg taken up. I've usually just I used to just fold it up underneath and. Uh, and just iron it and that would, would do but I, I think it was something like 20 bucks or 22 dollars back then it was a huge amount of money you know but because i was going on the plane with my son back to new zealand um i paid the money so um, i'll just give you a look at these now these are 84 centimeters or i think that's 33 inch waist now they are a little bit tight but i can i can bend down in them um they're wearable you know another couple of kilos and these will be the perfect fit and if i can get my waist down to a genuine 33 centimeters that's perfect for half my height because that's a, a much more reliable um, measurement than um, uh, bmi which is you know it's outdated it, it's for most people it's it, it's not realistic so side effects the only really bad side effect I've had from stopping the Monjaro is insomnia. It's been horrendous. I've, 
I think that's part of the reason why I've had trouble with my keys. I've been forgetting things. When you don't have sleep, it's like being drunk. Some nights I was only getting two or three hours a night um, and it was broken. I'd be waking up all the time. Uh, and once you wake up, you can't get back to sleep and you toss and turn. You just lay there and it's, and you know you've got a big day ahead and you need your sleep, but you can't force it. So hopefully this will settle down. It's been over a week since I've been on. I had an injection, 10 days or something. Uh, this drug's pretty powerful. And once you take it away, your body's going to go a little bit haywire. It's not going to know what's happening because they all, all the doctors have said, whatever you do, don't just stop cold turkey, which is what I'm doing because I just can't afford to keep going. Um, gradually reduce the dose until you're down to a maintenance dose on the 2.5 milligrams and then gradually go off it. But I'm not doing that. I'm just, you know, just stopping it dead. So there's bound to be some sort of drama or side effects or whatever so and a special shout out to jay of uh, black sheep uh, diaries jay's had a shocking year he's he can't take a trick he's had employment troubles he's had health issues and the word is now that he's um he's stacked his motorbike he's laid it down and he's hurt himself badly um, i don't think it looks like nothing's broken but he sounds like he's pretty sad and sorry for himself and i could imagine a big hit like that you i know what it's like on the skateboard three days of agony like even even getting up out of bed or even moving to go to the toilet is very painful so heal up quickly mate I'm, i was devastated when i read that yesterday i was going to go for another surf but it sort of took the wind out of my sails so Heal up quickly and uh, yeah, um, hopefully I'll be hearing from you that everything's back to normal very, very soon. And in other news, this is the key that I had down my wetsuit that caused all the drama. I've just pulled it apart, dried it out, put a new battery in and watch this. It locks and unlocks. It works. It works perfectly. So a big shout out to uh, uh, Giza Surf. He he told he said I think something he said something along the lines of those keys are very tough. Pull it apart, rinse it out, dry it off, buy a new battery, and it should work. And it true true to form, exactly as he said. That's what's happened. So pretty happy with that. So it cost me ten bucks for a couple of new batteries, and uh, yeah. We're back to uh, having the automatic key again. You! In another win, I uh, had a gaping hole in my wetsuit. You could put two fists through, and I've managed to sew it up. Now, I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty rough, but it's held for three surfs now, and it hasn't, hasn't budged. So I'm pretty impressed with my sewing skills. And even though it's been, I've had uh, the eight days in the in the surf, seven out of the eight I've surfed, I haven't felt this good um, in over three years. Three years ago, I had 46 days in a row where we surfed, and this was like going back in time. I had the same crop, the same crew were out. We're all having an absolute ball surfing together. Um, the vibe was just magic. Um, I felt that fit. I feel like right now I feel like I could paddle to New Zealand and back. And I haven't felt like that for a long, long time. It's like I've dropped, I haven't just dropped 27 kilos, I've dropped 27 years. That's what it feels like. So anyway, that's, uh, that's all I've got for this update. Um, stay safe, never give up and never grow up. And we'll catch you on the next one. There's a, there's a couple of uh, surf videos to come. And then I'm going to get around to doing this Tall Tales and True. But I've, I've been that hyped up over the surfing, I haven't been able to think of anything else, honestly. So, yeah, take care, and we'll see you on the next one.